The lawsuit between the San Francisco-based payment company and the U.S. Regulatory Authority, the SEC, that started more than a year ago is still dragging on, and there seems to be no end to it anytime soon. With the new proceedings in the case, we might expect months until the lawsuit is over. However, if the SEC follows one step of its history, we might see not only the lawsuit to be over, but also an increase in the price. But we might not be able to get any more of the coin. Join us in today's video to find out about where the lawsuit is heading and at what level the XRP can be burned. But before we get to it, welcome back everyone to Crypto Millionaires, a channel where you get your daily dose of XRP. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can know every time we upload a new video. Now without any further wait, let's get to the video. Looking at the Ripple SEC lawsuit from several angles, it is evident that it will not be resolved anytime soon. This can be seen in the way Ripple and the SEC continually coming up with different defense arguments. This, on the other hand, moves in the opposite direction of how the crypto community anticipates the lawsuit's final ruling. Because the litigation is still ongoing, it's vital to understand that Ripple and XRP are no longer the same. Presently, XRP functions as an independent currency. However, despite Ripple and XRP being independent of each other, traders are confident that Ripple will prevail against the SEC. With every other day, the lawsuit is getting more interesting. The SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit has reached a critical stage with Judge Annalisa Torres partially granting and partially denying the defendant's request to seal documents. Advocates feel that large decisions in the XRP litigation might make the matter more attractive for Ripple. Attorney Jeremy Hogan, a Ripple supporter, took to Twitter to provide an important update on the current lawsuit. The attorney tweeted, There's only one major takeaway from this order on the Ripple vs. SEC case. Judge Torres is getting ready to take over. The next couple of months will be very interesting with all the major rulings that are being teed up. Judge Torres has ordered the unsealing of three documents. The three documents include the notice of Brad Garlinghouse's deposition in the SEC formal investigation, a Chris Larson email string, and a Brad Garlinghouse email. John Deaton explained it, and as reported by AMB Crypto, one of the documents in question is an email to Larson and legal memos to Ripple finding arguments to seal unjustified but granted redactions to Garlinghouse to protect potentially sensitive information in three documents. According to Crypto Law, she also ordered public release of documents filed by both sides under seal, anticipating motions to seal from other side that never came. Lastly, Torres will allow Ripple a sure reply to SEC Gov's memorandum of law in support of motion to strike fair notice defense. John Deaton, the attorney for the XRP holders in the case, said Judge Torres's rulings are a great sign for his clients. John said, What these rulings clearly show is that Judge Torres favors public disclosure. Ripple can't seal certain documents, i.e. legal memos. The same applies to the SEC. Think ahead. We may ultimately get to see the 63 Hinman emails. Security and Exchange Commissioner Hester Pierce told Yahoo Finance that it's past time for the SEC to provide a clear framework in light of the lingering ambiguity, she stated that the regulator should lead with a regulatory hand to help people traverse this extremely tricky region, rather than enforcement. It gets a little more difficult because the token works in a different way than some of these other assets do, and the information that you might want about the token is a little bit different than you might want about other kinds of assets. Judge Netburn approved SEC's request for a DPP reconsideration delay. And now all eyes are on the 17th of February as the deadline approaches. After that, Ripple has until February 25th to respond to the SEC's move for reconsideration. According to lawyer James Fillon, the deadline for expert discovery is at the end of this month. So we can see where the lawsuit is going, and it is going to take more time than we expected. But there's more. Remember last year when the SEC tweeted about sharing some exciting news and said that Gerbier Grewal will be joining the SEC as Director of the Division of Enforcement? We are thrilled to have someone with Gerbier's experience, values, and leadership ability to helm the Enforcement Division. Mr. Grewal is a former Wall Street watchdog. During his former position as New Jersey's Attorney General, the lawyer reconditioned police use of force training and disciplinary transparency and spoke about Asian American hate crimes. The lawyer participated in the SEC v. Ripple case. James K. Fillon tweeted about the newly appointed director. His fans reacted in a variety of ways to the news. Some users questioned his tough approach with a bring-it-on attitude. 
Others point out that when Grewal goes to court, he goes to win, and this expertise would help clarify the case. Now Mr. Grewal had said that platforms that illegally tap digital asset securities in exchange for concealed compensation have been on our radar. Whether the security is a stock, bond, or a digital asset, it is prohibited. Importantly, we have been able to achieve meaningful redress for a victimized industry in many of these situations. We've had commitments from issuers of digital asset securities to destroy tokens in the possession in addition to monetary redress. So, burning is an option, and the SEC has already done it in the past with Solutech. If the regulators do force Ripple to burn the XRP in escrow, the value is going to rise up. Let's just say that currently, there are 99.9 billion XRP in total. The circulating supply, as per the numbers, will be 53 billion. So if Ripple burns what's in escrow, almost 47 billion XRP, only 53 billion XRP will be left, and that will be all. We won't be able to get more XRP, and what we have now will be all. Now, after the burning, if the market cap goes to 10 trillion, the value will be $185 per XRP. And if it gets to 20 trillion market cap, the value will be $370 per XRP. However, regardless how the escrow gets burned or not, the value of XRP is going to reach new levels, and a three-digit value will be the beginning of it. XRP and Ripple are going to achieve what they have been developed for. The current value of XRP is going up with the market. According to the FX Street, XRP price has spent the past 11 trading days inside a constricted trading range between $0.60 cents and $0.63, cents, with few attempts to move above or below that range. However, the results of this consolidation have created a long opportunity for XRP's point and figure chart. This past week, XRP suffered from a flat trend with price moving sideways, lacking momentum to break away from its current range. The resistance at $0.65 cents and the support at $0.58 cents have kept the cryptocurrency in check, and any attempts by the bulls or bears to break away were stopped. The most recent try to break below the key support level failed, and bulls are back in control of the price but seem unable to push XRP to the important resistance. The cryptocurrency market has seen strong bullish results over the last 24 hours. The market leaders, Bitcoin and Ethereum, have gained 8.97 and 5.48% respectively. Ripple XRP follows with over an 8% increase. Dark Defender, a crypto analyst, has suggested that Ripple's XRP can go up by 30% to touch the price level at 90 cents. Currently, XRP lacks momentum and volume appears flat. This makes any significant move unlikely in the near term. If BTC and ETH have a major breakout, XRP may attempt to break from this range in the coming week. Otherwise, the flat trend is likely to continue. According to the coin market cap at the time of writing, the XRP price today is 66 cents USD, with a 24 hour trading volume of $1.8 billion USD. XRP is up 3.29% in the last 24 hours. The current coin market cap ranking is number eight with a live market cap of $31.6 billion USD. It has a circulating supply of 47 billion XRP coins and a max supply of 100 billion XRP coins. So guys, this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a great help to you. What do you think about SCC to burn XRP? Share your views in the comments section below. Don't forget to click the bell icon. And thanks for watching.